peace and love creatives well i have gone down a bunny hole of pattern art and i stumbled into an art called cloisonne chinese cloisonne i don't know if i'm saying that properly but it'll be in the description i found a book uh basically talking about its history and how it how it became or the lack thereof their knowledge of how it became or started but anyway it's a beautiful pattern I don't even know if you can call it patterns they're just beautiful works of art that are made on metals they can be urns tables just walls of of art but instead of using your traditional um you know paints and stuff they were using bronze and enamel and melding it into these metallic pieces of works of art and i just fell in love with the history of it but not only the history of it just the way it looks and the designs and the kind of story that they tell within the what they put in each piece i loved it so much that i i bought a book uh talking about its history and also showing the different types of artifacts that they have with this art style with that being said i ended up as you can see making art referencing this book now this is my own creation but it definitely took heavily i would took it definitely heavily out of the book uh looking at the types of um patterns and designs that they would put into their pieces so they definitely had trees and like waves i think representing water these swirly looking things my thing my guess is representing clouds a lot of flower patterns and stuff like that so i wanted to incur incorporate that into my piece i started out with this small piece and i'm definitely gonna make bigger ones this took such a long time to just even just want, like map out like how I wanted it to look. Um, I think total time for the whole entire piece was like five hours from start to finish. And it was it was a blast every like every moment. My son wanted to make a cameo because my husband made a cameo. So he just made a cameo um, with Sarda, Sarda? I don't remember his name from uh, Ragnarok. Um, anyway, back to, back to the art. I um, decided to um, use markers in this piece mainly because of the the sketchbook that i was using but also i wanted to see what i can do with marker and this piece of work or illustration so um the colors that they use are are very like they're toned very down like there's yellows and there's reds and there's blues but they're very very muted i guess you can call it they're not super bright so I took that into consideration when picking the colors out for my picture I wanted to keep it as authentic of a look as possible with just my little touch on it and I, I think I, I pulled it off I kept on referring to the book if you see the book going in and out I just kept on referring to the book to try to get the look of the art that I have just fallen in love with. I would tell you a little bit about the history, but I'm not done reading the book. It's a very big book and it's it's kind of uh, right now I'm taking my time reading it and looking at the art and appreciating it. 
once I get to know the the art a little bit better and the book, maybe I'll do like a little flip through with it and talking about it. If you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments and I'll put that together, but not anytime soon. This is going to take me a while. And I'm really just having fun making art referencing uh, this book. So I absolutely want to... They have illustrations. I'm like getting ahead of myself. I'm so excited. Um, they have illustrations that kind of like give you a sense that something's happening. Like maybe uh, people are having a picnic or... Maybe it's kind of like a ceremony that they're trying to um, depict in the illustration. And I want to do something like that. I want to get myself a nice size piece of maybe watercolor paper and experiment with something like that. This one was a very, it was like my, my getting my, my toe in the water, seeing if I can, just testing the waters, seeing if I can do it, if you know, it's something that I would want to continue doing. And let me tell you, yes, it is it's something that I want to continue doing. I love everything about this. I really do. It's so much fun. And I'm having fun using markers too. So I'll probably do markers again. But my, the big illustration I probably will do with either acrylic uh, acrylic gouache or just regular gouache just because of the size it's going to be um yeah the outer uh rim of like uh, just the 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 way these um like I would see this on a plate, you know what I mean? The way these patterns are and how they look, it would be a plate that I never use. You know what I, it'll, I'll put it on like display in my cabinet just for you to look at. Not, don't eat on my plate. That's not a plate to eat. <laughs> but uh, here I'm going in with some Liquitex. I don't think it's Liquitex. I think it's the Dollar Brownie. Hold on, I'm going to look for it. Uh, yes, the FW Dollar Brownie um, Gold Acrylic Ink. And I first tried to use my glass dip pen. I thought it would make it easier to, to, to put the ink on the paper, but it, it, no. It just, it just, no, it was not... So I'm glad I, tr I tried it on another piece of paper before I started doing it on this. I, I just did not want to ruin how much, you know, I, I put a lot of time and effort into this and I didn't want to ruin it at the last, very last step. So I did try it on a separate piece of paper before I um, continued. I ended up using my, just a regular dip pen and a nib. I don't remember the size of the nib, but um, yeah, I ended up doing that and going around everything, pr practically everything with this gold ink. And my reason for doing that is I wanted it to represent the bronze that they usually have wrapped around all of these pieces. So what basically what it it does it, it kind of like keeps the decorated area within each other you know so you can put the enamel in that bronze uh figure or shape and it stays that shape because of the the, the metal you have in there it's just it's a, an amazing art style and i am i'm here for it i am here for it but um i wanted that um, incorporated it. I wanted that incorporated into my art as well. I just didn't want to overdo it, but I did want subtle hints of the gold in there. Um, so I, I, I put it on the outermost portion and then that lovely design that has the trees in it, but I also end up putting it on the flower. And I like that. And then when I went into um, the book to, to just see 
maybe where I can put it, you know, where else I can put it. I noticed that they put, they have like these etchings on the trees, I guess to make them look like maybe birch trees or something like that. Um, you know, some kind of tree like that, but I loved it. It was just, yes, I want to do that. So I ended up doing that on my trees as well. Um, if I say that the video doesn't do it justice, it really doesn't. I am so in love with this piece and I had so much fun and I really, really, really am looking forward to making a larger piece. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. With that being said, I, I want to thank you guys for coming along on my bunny hole adventure. And um, thanks for watching. Peace and love.